Hey y'all and thank you so much for tuning into this video. My name is Mariah Campbell if you don't already know uh, and welcome to my channel. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into this video. If you've been watching my channel or if you've seen my latest video then you know uh, that I was talking about fighting discontentment. So if you haven't seen that video first go ahead and watch that one and then come back to this one uh, because this is just another portion of what God spoke to me through the story of Gideon. So without further ado okay so the message that God kept speaking to me as I was on this seven day journey of seeking the Lord, resting, and really just allowing myself to trust him with the next steps of my life. Um, one thing that the Holy Spirit was speaking and he kept saying is honor where you are. Like the rest of the revelations that God gave me, this same principle, the same understanding or the same type of um, posture can be shown in the story of Gideon. So open up your Bibles. We're going to go back to the book of Judges, chapter 6, um, verse 24. And it reads, so Gideon built an altar to the Lord there and called it, the Lord is peace. When I read that, literally the one thing that stuck out to me was the word there the word doesn't say that gideon built an altar to the lord when he reached the promise that it didn't say he built an altar in the temple but he built an altar right there in the situation that he was still in nothing changed in that same place of where he was questioning everything of where he felt the need to work and do what anything that he needed in order to try and bring about a solution to this problem it was in that same place it wasn't once he reached you know the glory filled moment it was in the same place where you know he was crying out to god and so that was something that was really like playing over and over and over in my head i'm like wait a second whoa 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 so in the same place of discomfort in the same place of of discontentment or just lack of understanding and just you know discouragement that this is the place that we have to honor. Something that also came along with this, with the idea of honor where you are, is that here is holy. That even though Gideon was still encountering the issues with the Midianites, even though he still may have felt the urge to try and do what he needed to do to try to fix the problem, he chose to invite God into this space and allow him to reign over it. And he declared that place the same place where he was suffering he declared it as holy and I feel like that's something that we as people of God as people that may be in a space or in a season where we're discontent or we're not comfortable or you know we're struggling or just the situation isn't as favorable as we want we have to understand that in this space in this moment in this time in this season where we may not be feeling at our best that god can still show up on our behalf that this space isn't just a throwaway portion of our life no this here this place is holy this season is holy why because the lord can still have his hand on it and so in the space that you're in whether you're in a season of just drought or discontentment discouragement or fear anxiety stress all of these if this is the season that you're in honor where you are right now and trust and know that God is faithful to still bring value even in the season where you feel like it's the darkest honor this space by declaring it holy honor your space honor this season by inviting the Lord to reign over it yeah, I'm telling you, one thing that I wrote down whenever I was, you know, when the Lord was speaking this to me, it says, honoring where you are is inviting the Lord into a space, even if it isn't favorable. You have to declare and know for yourself that I know this place is still holy because I've allowed the Lord to leave his mark on it. Y'all, this is still a valuable part of your story. This is still a valuable part of where, um, of eventually where God is going to take you because you're going to look back and say, look, I remember when that in the midst of chaos, as Gideon named the place, the Lord is peace. That I remember when I was in a state of discomfort, the Lord is peace. He got me through it. He's helping me, you know, step by step, even in this season. So this place that you may be experiencing, probably one of the, 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 the most toughest things in your life the most toughest seasons in your life you have to honor where you are and declare that here is holy i may be on my knees crying out to god 
not understanding why I'm in this space or why I'm experiencing what I'm experiencing. But I'm going to choose to invite the Lord into this space and declare that He is peace and that He can still make something great even in the midst of my struggles. So this is going to be a testimony for you at the end of it that here is holy, that the Lord can still do something on your behalf, even in the midst of this place. So I just thought that was just so, so profound is that Gideon didn't wait till he got to the promise of God. Gideon didn't wait until life was looking great. He didn't even go to the typical place of where people decided to honor and worship God, which is the temple. He said, no, even in this place of turmoil, I still choose to build an altar right here in this space where I'm so anxious, I'm gonna build an altar right here, where I'm stressed, right here. When I'm not comfortable in the space that I'm in or the season that I'm in, right here, I'm gonna honor it as holy. Why? Because the Lord still can use this season in my life. One, for His glory, but two, for the testimony that will come once I've reached the place of purpose that God has for me. So I want to remind you, y'all, honor where you are, even in the midst of the struggle. Honor where you are. Why? Because there is holy. It's still a place where the Lord can make a transformation. It's still the place of where God is constantly building up in you a strength, an endurance, a courage. All of these things that you need to, to have down the line when your purpose comes into play. He's building it right now in the space of where you feel the crushing of where you feel the pressure. Here is holy. Here is holy. So honor that. It may be tough. I be having to remind myself sometimes I'm like, look, it's tough. <laughs> I get frustrated. I feel like, okay, mm, I kind of want to go and do go back to what I know and try to make something happen on my own. But no, I choose in this space, at this very spot, to build an altar to the Lord. Invite Him into this moment, into this space, into this situation, into this, this struggle. I choose to invite Him here, trusting that He will provide me peace as I walk it out. So don't discount where you, the Lord has you right now, because I promise you it's going to make sense. It's going to make sense whether that be today, tomorrow, down the line, or maybe a couple of years from now. It's going to make sense. Why? Because it's all, it all comes together to build out the story of your life. It all comes together to promote the testimony of God's goodness in your life. So every season is not going to be easy. <laughs> every season ain't going to be favorable where it's just easy to praise and worship God. Why? Because life is hard. Life be life in, okay? But understand that God is not just good in the good times. God is good even in the times that aren't as favorable, even in the times that aren't comfortable, even in the times when things don't make sense. God is still faithful to show up and to provide you peace and comfort even in the midst of the storm. So remember y'all, honor where the Lord has you right now and always remember that here, here, the very spot that you stand in is still holy. And it can still be used for God's glory. So I love y'all so much. Um, this one's a lot quicker than the other one. E. Uh, but I just want, I wanted to share that portion of what God has spoke to me through the story of Gideon. <laughs> Build the altar right here, y'all. Build it even while you got tears flowing down your face. Even whenever life is just life and doing whatever it's doing. Build the altar to the Lord right here. And declare that he is peace. And that he's going to be the strength that you need in order to make it through. So I love y'all so much. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, and I hope to see y'all in my next one. But also know that I love you. But remember that God loves you so much more. Alright y'all. Peace.